Hey YouTube, I'm working on this trailer hitch. I'm gonna put it on the dually. I need to take it apart though. So I gotta undo these old rusted bolts and I've tried by hand, they won't budge. So I need to use a little bit of heat and I thought this would be a great opportunity to show you my, what I call, poor man's oxyfuel setup. So this is it. It's a standard, I think it's a B-sized oxygen tank, which you is the only part about it that you can't cheap out on. So around here these tanks cost about 300 bucks, and then you still got to put the gas in them. But if you can get around that, the rest of it you can source out relatively cheaply. Uh, I've just got a used torch on there with a set of used regulators. And then the other part, which is why I consider it a poor man's setup, is I've got it rigged to run off propane. The standard acetylene regulator works just fine with propane. And if you're really smart like me, you'll uh, realize that you can take apart a barbecue regulator and uh, attach it to your acetylene regulator. And then you can fit it onto your barbecue tank, no problem. Onto the same propane th threads that your barbecue would attach with. However, if you're really smart, <laughs> and lo and behold, I learned this later on, you'll know that a propane tank is threaded inside the nozzle, and that just happens to fit a regular acetylene regulator perfectly so if you haven't done this modification you don't need to but if you want to go right ahead <laughs> so as I said it's a poor man setup so you'll notice I've got a nice little homemade cart can't be anything too fancy so performance wise it works very well uh, almost as good as on acetylene. You don't get quite as much heat out of it, but uh, I can cut pretty heavy steel with it. I've cut up to half inch. It takes a bit to actually do that. You kind of got to stop and start sort of, but uh, it's worked in a pinch. Uh, you can cut thinner steel, no problem. Uh, cut nuts and bolts and stuff, and it, you know, it's great for heating stuff, so, like in this situation. Also on occasion, I have used it for brazing and actually aluminum welding. And I'm sure you'd be able to use it for steel welding as well. It performs, I'd say, 80% as well as just regular oxyacetylene. Uh, so I'll demonstrate it by heating up one of the nuts that I'm trying to remove. Afterwards, I'll do a little cutting demonstration with it. If you look at the end of the torch, um, you can see I've sort of got that little recess machined in the very end. And that was recommended to help with lighting the torch. I found it didn't really make, make it any easier, didn't make a difference. And it actually makes it easier to damage the tip, so... If I did this again, I probably would try it, try it without doing that. But the, the other tip for lighting a propane torch is you light it and then uh, hold it against a piece of metal. Like not right up, but close. And then as you add your oxygen, the flame won't go out. It sort of tends to with propane. If, you, if you're just lighting it in midair, it kind of wants to go out as you add the oxygen. That's the only sort of downfall, but you can work around that and it works it works just fine. Okay, I'll try and demonstrate lighting it on camera. Turn the gas on a bit. Very similar to acetylene. Oh. Then to add the oxygen, like I said, hold it against a piece of steel. The oxygen on. There we go. That's 
uh, kind of a neutral flame. I'm gonna heat this not over here. I uh, hope I don't block the camera. That's got a fair bit of heat into it. Do a little more. So that was only maybe, I don't know, was that even a minute? Worth of heating? There we go. Forgot how to light a torch. Put that down. So yeah, a torch is really handy <laughs> whenever you're working on old rusted junk. And uh, I just wanted to share my method of acquiring one without spending a whole lot of money. So there's a piece of quarter inch plate. I'll just uh, demonstrate cutting a little bit of it. Hitting the uh, oxygen adjustment. So I'll preheat for a little bit. start to see it go molten, give it some oxygen. If it stops cutting, just heat it up a little and keep going. Okay, that did cut all the way through. The torch isn't really properly set up either. There we go. Well, I hope someone finds that helpful. Uh, back when I was young, it was kind of thought of that, you know, if you were into working on cars and stuff, uh, if you didn't have a torch, you were a nobody, but if you had the torch, you were you were somebody. You knew what you were doing. You were you were a real mechanic then. <laughs> You're a real uh real real shade tree mechanic. <laughs> Anyways, there you go. And thanks for watching.